All right, guys, welcome back to Fallout 3. Uh, in the last episode, we actually got done with uh, meeting the Enclave and uh, regrouping everybody at Project Purity. And now we're here. We escaped to the Citadel, but we lost our father. Uh, but he made a great sacrifice. So let's walk in here and see what's going to happen. Oh, Paladin Bale. And... I got a cool helmet. Do that, and like my my best friend said, increase the energy weapons to like a lot. Hmm. Can you? Did I get bloody mess already? Alright. Oh. Madison, I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been over... Oh, sorry. Run. Yes, I've heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more, I don't know. You have to do something. <laughs> then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the Purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. <coughs> we know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, d I just don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. No, can you? Yes. He knows what we need. Vault tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well. We'll sort this all out. Hail. I, oh. I need to rest, lie down or something. This is just too much. I meant through a lot. Rothschild should help you. But don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. Elder Lyons. Oh, damn. Uh, thanks, I guess. Uh, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm not sure what to do when that is gone. The most we can do is carry on his spirit. Live as he would have. Make our world a better place. What do you know about the Enclave? More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel <clears throat> has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, oh. back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Nice. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. It matters not now, as before they seek to control and destroy. All in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just the beginning. President Richardson was a dickhead. And then you can tell me about the super mutants? Would you believe no? It's pathetic, really, considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly 20 years. In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins, and now here we are, holed up in our citadel. Low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so 
very tired. I bet. <clears throat> I like to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the <laughs> war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? Here they're just a, a part of the Brotherhood. When, and where's the rest of it? The Brotherhood began on the West Coast. It exists there <laughs> still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Why are you here in the capital, Wasteland? Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. <laughs> but when I realized the extent of the super mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my oh. assessment of the situation. They feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. That's not a bad thing. And they're right. In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. That's a nice thing to do. How long have you been here? It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling years. to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries. 20 years being in the cup while well, sure. so I wanted to know. So be it. Uh Can someone in the Citadel train me to wear power armor? Why yes. Yes indeed there is someone. Our intrepid paladin Gunny trains all initiates in the use of power armor when they're ready. Under the circumstances, I will allow Gunny to train you as well. You'll find him in the Bailey. I will send word that I've given my approval. I have to go. Hail. Where's the Bailey? Hail. Okay. The Citadel. Cool. Keep getting. Nice place they got here. That's lavatory. Artemis. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Uh, so any thoughts on the Enclave? As if we didn't have enough to worry about. Their weapons are better. Their power armor is better. Is their training better? We'll see. Huh. Uh, you must see a lot of things. What's been going on? What's been going on? Well, let's see. For years, we've been draining our resources, defending the ungrateful residents of this no man's land. Most of my best friends have either been ripped apart by super mutants or left to join the outcasts. And now an enemy we faced more than 30 years ago has resurfaced, and their tech is still better than ours. What's been going on with you? Outcasts, who are they? I really don't want to go into it. Go bug scribe Bowditch. You could Bowditch. talk a dog off a meat truck. I have a few questions about the Citadel. What do you need to find? <laughs> Uh, do you have a medic? You could say that. We have an old robo-doc. He's a <laughs> bit creepy, but he does the job. You'll find him in B-Ring. B-Ring. Can you describe the layout of the Citadel? You are currently in A-Ring. Here you will find the Great Hall, the Lion's Den, and the Archives. Beyond this area is B-Ring, 
quarters for the knights, scribes, and elder lions. Outside in the bailey are the training areas and access to the initiates' barracks. Other than that, down those steps is the lab. Be careful around there. The scribes are touchy about who goes near their toys. <laughs> uh, and supplies, well, where would I go about doing that? Well, any one of us would see Knight Captain <laughs> Durga down in the lab, but since you're an outsider, you'll need permission from Elder Lions. Okay. Well, that's all needed. Very well. Oh, care to share anything about the mutants? You know how many uglies I've killed? More than all of Lion's pride combined. That's how many. All it takes is a loaded weapon and the will to use it. Oh, and a good way to get ugly blood out of your armor. Little bit of a Braxo and some water. Works like a charm. Works like a charm. Thank of you. Of course. The Bailey is actually the courtyard. How did marshmallows if it kills me? How did Gunny? Initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. Man. I swear these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. Uh, can I say anything about super mutants? Why do you think I ride these initiates so hard? <laughs> I make training hell, so fighting those uglies won't be. What do you do here? I am charged with the duty of turning these maggots into brothers of steel. With the threat of the Enclave, they're likely going to be pressed into service before they've taken the oath. So I've got a lot of work to do. So, any thoughts on the Enclave? Killing unarmed civilians makes me sick. Come over here. <laughs> Try fighting someone who shoots back, fucking cowards. Uh, can you train me to use power armor? Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? Now look, to wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. Let the suit do the work. Okay, you got all that? I think you know enough now to at least move around in power armor without killing yourself. That's something, right? God help us all. You have received specialized training and in any form of power armor. Yes! I have to go now, thank you. If you'll excuse me, I need to go show these fish how to shoot straight. Let's go! Yeah, after I get the power armor, we're gonna do some side quests. Oh! Did it! Oh, sneaky, sneaky enclave with their electric fences. Well, dang, no power armor for me. Um, sneaky, sneaky. They love their fences. All right, so we'll, we'll return back to the Brotherhood later. But what I want to do is, uh, we're going to do, we're, we're going to go back to Vault 101 and see what's happening there. Did they recognize me? We've come so far. But must be done. I think they'll recognize me. All right, now we just got to activate the, uh, the radio signal. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is a
what happened here. <clears throat> Steve Armstrong? It is stealth boy though. Stop oh, right there. You gotta scare me. I don't know how you got in here, but hold on. Wait a minute. It's you. I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Uh, I just thought I stopped back home for a bit. How's the little vault? You just thought you'd pop in? Don't take this the wrong way, but you probably ought to just turn around and not come back. Things, well, they haven't gone very well since you and your dad left. This isn't the happy vault you grew up in anymore. There's real trouble. What happened down here since I left? Everything went crazy is what happened. Your dad opened that door, bugs started attacking, and people started going crazy. When the smoke cleared, there were a lot of casualties and not many answers. Didn't help that our doctor had just left either. That would have been horrified to know all of that if he were still alive. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the overseer didn't like that one bit mm -hmm. and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. Well, let me through, I got work to do. I can't do that, not officially at least. As much as some of the rebels would like to talk with you, the overseer said you weren't welcome back. Of course, if you survived whatever's out there, none of us could stop you if you really wanted to cause problems. But I'd prefer if you don't. But out of respect to your dad, I could turn a blind eye. Nice. You could slip out and say you were never here. I won't tell a soul. Um... I'll go see what I can do about all this. Well, okay. Just be careful down here. The vault's changed, I tell you. I don't I don't even know where to go. I'm not gonna waste my plasma rifle on. Roaches. Um, I don't want any of that. What's that way then? Energy weapons. Oh boy, here we go. We're opening that door, and to hell with the overseer's rules. <laughs> you know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before Freddy. I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because oh my we gosh. Stay back! Holy crap! Don't you know enough to stay away? Gosh. <laughs> you almost shot Freddy. I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. 
I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. Tell me about the rebels. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're going to try something dangerous. What happened down here? I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. All right. Yes, you do. You're crazy. What the hell? Lower level. Cut it out. Let's see. Yeah, let's look. I'm gonna stay on this level for a second. What's going on down here? Oh, you can't see my face. Okay. There he is. That madman, the overseer. Alright, I'll come back to that. I want to talk to him last. Yes. Wally Mac. Oh boy, are you in trouble? Up and down here. You should have seen my pop. He personally saved old Stanley. But guess you wouldn't know what it's like to have a hero for a dad, would you? Damn, shit. And the rebels? What do you expect from idiots like them? I'm just glad I was done with Butch's stupid gang before they got involved in all this. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you do. Hey, okay. Is this yes. Pepper Gomez? Can't you just leave us alone? What happened? The bugs were horrible, but my family was pretty lucky. But then my Freddy went and got caught up with those idiot rebels. Those kids are risking our entire vault just because they're bored. It's horrible. Hmm. Yes. You do. I really do. I always say the same thing. The reactor level. You Whoa. never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. Oh, you really shouldn't have done that. Yeah, really shouldn't have done that. Oh, who's this? Don't, Stanley? Don't know that I should be talking with you. With all of the bugs and fires, there was an awful lot of strain on the systems down on the reactor level. Our water chip's pretty delicate right now, but I'm working on setting her right again. It's just a phase they're going through. Every kid thinks they want to leave the vault at some point, but we all grew out of it. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And back up to the atrium. Right. Oh. Damn. Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You got to help us. Help, what kind of help? What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Wow. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Don't worry, I'm trying to help the entire vault. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life when I could go out there and make my own choices? What happened that night? I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Nothing too bad, yet. 
but he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Hmm. Oh. Miss, what do you do in the vault? The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. <laughs> what think you're gonna do what think you're gonna do outside, Butch? I'll start a gang, of course. Mm. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? You have no idea how many gangs of idiot ragers are out there. Well, they ain't seen nothing like me yet. Butcher's gonna take that wasteland by storm. Oh, goodness. Why should I help you, Butch? Because you've always been a goody two-shoes. So when I need help, it's what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault, and I'll leave and never bother you again. I'll be going now. Catch you later. Maybe. Little ass hat. Oh, goodness, excuse me. It's good to see you again. Susie Mac. You're alive! I hate <laughs> that this whole thing has turned us against our families. But we just can't keep living down here forever. I mean, look at this place. A lot of security got wounded, and worse. In all the confusion, we still don't know who's responsible for some of them. Yeah, see you. Oh, let me Palmer. Oh, it's good to see you're back from outside. It can be I dangerous she died. out there for someone your age. I thought she died. Um, what happened down here? My poor grandson Jonas died is what happened. They say it was just an accident and all the confusion, but I know it was the overseer. Oh dear, we aren't asking for anything special. The vault's been open before, but for some reason, everyone tries to pretend it wasn't. I guess they try to forget the poor souls who never came back from out there. Oh, please be careful. Pretty bad out there. Oh, goodness. Oh my god, you're back! I'm you got my message and actually came back! Hmm. I came as soon as I heard you were in trouble. Oh, thank you! Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. I may have left, but there, this is still where I grew up. I can't live it in chaos. Chaos doesn't even cover it. It's a nightmare down here. People died that night, and all because my father went crazy to keep someone from opening the vault. And worst of all, then we found out the vault had been opened before. And they'd lied about it all our lives! Yeah, I found out about that uh, when I left. I guess I should I guess I should have told you. Yeah, I found out about that when I left. I guess I should have told have told you. What? How long did you know about this? You know what? Never mind. What's important is that now we know that we were lied to all our lives, and that people have died for that lie. And even now, when we most need help, the Overseer still won't let us try to communicate with the outside. Sounds like he's gone crazy with power and needs to be stopped. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does. But he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. 
But now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. I think I have a solution for the vault's troubles. No, I'm just here. What happened that night? The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. Oh. Now, we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs, and he hasn't exactly got the best bedside manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold metal pincers? You don't want to! Why is the overseer doing this? I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door, and we're not going to give up until we can reach it. Hmm. I think I have a solution for the vault's troubles. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. This is pretty miserable, um, but it's also pretty bad up to, uh, uh, outside. I swear I'll stop your father and his guards. Just watch. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please don't do anything rash or hurt him, all right? Hmm. You know, violence isn't my style, Mono. Don't worry. I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know. Maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks. And good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. If we can, if we can, if we can fix the vault. I never thought you'd be back. Be good, because outside is still pretty terrible. Hey, good to see you again. I can't believe they almost shot you. I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days is going to turn real ugly. But I'll be ready for it. Paul got bit real bad by some of those rad roaches, but he thought he could tough it out. If we'd had a doctor to treat him, he might still be here. The overseer thinks he's in charge of us just because it's his job? Well, nuts to that. We do what we want, and we want to open the vault. Bye. Wow, you're back. Christine Kindle. Mom and little Monica got caught in the fires. I tried to get them out. I really did. But it was just too hot. I know it wasn't your fault, but my dad doesn't think as highly of you. You wouldn't want to hear what he said he'd do to your dad, either. I wouldn't call us rebels. I mean, we don't agree with the Overseer, but we still love the vault. We just want to try going outside, too. Mm hmm Yeah. See you. Ah, another patient. What's it to be, eh? Appendectomy? Tonsillectomy? Oh my Hysterectomy? gosh. Hysterectomy? Oh, goodness gracious. And what happened? All this blood. Ah, oh, yes. A rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate the leg. Yeah, I am sorry to say the operation was uh, not a uh, success. Wait, wait, they made you the doctor? But of course! With your father's departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the Overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and 
so he named me the new Vault Medical Practitioner. A marvellous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped, after all. So, uh, what's your take on the whole situation? Ah, human problems for human half. I don't trouble myself with such petty affairs. My work is my life. And, as you can see, I've been quite busy. <laughs> okay, I'm going now. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Oh, shit. I was, shit, I was going old. My gosh, that is dark. Schematics rocket launcher. Home sweet home. Hey. <laughs> hey. Please be careful. Schematics rocket launcher. At a workbench combined vacuum cleaner, leaf blower, fire hose nozzle, and collector. The rocket launcher isn't the most accurate big gun, but as long as you got junk lying around, you got ammo. Just load the hopper with the garbage and turn that junk into a deadly weapon. Stock home. Well, here we are. Nestled all safe and snug inside Vault 101. It's so cold down here. Colder still with Catherine gone. Oh, Catherine. I so wish you were here with me. How the hell am I supposed to do this by myself? Live down in this hole. Take care of our child. But this is our life now. So I guess I'd better get used to it. The overseer who runs the place is an overbearing bully. But I've dealt with worse. Hmm. I never thought you'd be back. <laughs> All right. No! Went the wrong way. There we go. Brush. It's good to see you again. It's been a while, kid. I guess the goat couldn't have predicted <laughs> how you'd turn out, could it? Remind me to add a question about rescuing your teacher from the vault jail. If the vault ever goes back to normal, that is. By the way, while I was in there, I heard some worrying things from the guards. What'd you hear from the guards? I heard one of the guards talking about some sort of plan to raid Amada and the rest of us. I didn't hear anything else, but I think he read it on the security terminal. So maybe you can find more there. I'm sure it's bad news for us all. It was pretty rough, I'll tell you. I know a lot of folks blame your dad, but I know he didn't mean to cause all that. Don't blame him or yourself. Most of them are just kids who are caught up in the idea of seeing the world. But I know we've got to actually open the vault if we want to survive. Otherwise, we're just going to dwindle away down here until it's all too late. Watch yep. yourself down here. See you, Mr. Bratch. Oh, that armor from... A different jail password or the same one? Yeah, same one. Hello, Mr. Overseer. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Tainted. Damn. <laughs> Lay off the evil banter. I'm just curious about your side of all this. Really? 
And here I had expected you to be full of bullets and bravado, but short on brains. Perhaps you've grown up since you left our vault. I regret the unfortunate events of that night, but I'm afraid that once your father left us, they were unavoidable. The sad truth is that his actions presented a real and direct threat to the future success of our vault. And so, regrettably, they had to be opposed. What do you mean by the vault's future success? Ah, you're paying attention. Good for you. These vaults were designed to be safe havens for humanity, you see. But more than that, <clears throat> they were designed to test and protect us. And none more so than our Vault 101. We are to be a pure and protected breed of humans, never tainted by the ravages of the war above. Mm -hmm. The Vault doesn't have to be isolated in order to keep its residents safe. And what makes you so certain about that? I can't imagine you're still so naive after spending time in that hell outside. None of them know what the outside is like, and most of them would die out there. Then the rest of us inside would eventually die out too. I won't risk all of our lives just for a few people's passing fancy of taking a wasteland vacation. I hope you can understand that. The rebels are upset because you lied to them about the outside. They have to understand that we did that to keep them from going outside and getting killed. <clears throat> to keep them from making the same mistake our generation did when we were their age. Some of us already lost loved ones out there long ago. We won't lose any more today. I believe I have the solution to the vault's problems. I'm trying to save my people. Possibly the only pure, safe humans left in the world. Don't destroy humanity's last chance just because you don't like the choices I've had to make to protect it. The rebels are right. You need to open the vault. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? We simply don't have enough people to stay isolated down here forever. I admit in the 200 years since the war our numbers have dwindled a little but we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations my god you're right we won't last another hundred years whether or not we get supplies from the outside we're the last bastion of pure humanity here and we're doomed that's very enclave uh well there's reason why very enclave perspective <clears throat> Humanity isn't about pure genetics. It's about never giving up hope, even now. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. Whoa! <laughs> nice. No, he gets to live too. That's amazing. This is no way to live. You did it. I, I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. I said a little I said a little talk with them and explain a few things. All quite civil. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. Whatever it is, I'm glad to help. I know you are. And on behalf of the vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. 
Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. Well, like a like a throwback to the first Fallout game. We're like, thank you for saving us. You need to leave. I'm like, I understand. Goodbye. I understand. Goodbye, Mata. We can never really thank you enough for everything you've done. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us by. It'll be a while before we're actually ready to go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. But with luck, we'll meet again. I had no plan on returning. <laughs> so, sorry to see you go. How may I serve you, Mata? I have no plan on returning. Amata, everyone, oh. listen closely. After a discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. In my attempts to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost, but perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes. And I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe, inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. I'm sorry. Good riddance. Goodbye. Get out. I'm sorry, but you have to leave. Wow. Goodbye. Evening. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good. Good Sorry to see you go. Hey. I survived the night. But I can feel the there's change in the I don't know if it's good or bad, though. That's better than nothing. I suppose. never thought you'd be back. What's this? Patient Files, Stanley. Pretty Gomez. Experiments, experiment 27CE. Mutation, thank goodness. Turn down power to this experiment. It was also monumental for other reasons. Valuable. Okay. No, uh, that wasn't really useful information. All right. How may I serve you, master? Will do. You too. How may I serve you, master? All right, we're out of here. We saved the vault. It can no longer return. But we weren't going to. I'm gonna leave. A lot of things could be resolved, you know. Leave the vault forever. I like the We left our past behind. We are now a part of the wasteland. All right. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to get Butch as a companion. It'd be kind of cool to you know have like you know the old life with us. But my karma's too high, so uh, it ain't gonna happen. 
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the National Archives. The next episode of Fallout 3. So I'll see y'all next time. The story of too much. Some things are good in small quantities, like cookies, candy, and puppies. As you may know, much of our electricity comes from nuclear energy. In small quantities, this fantastic friend keeps us safe, clean, and happy. But in large quantities, nuclear energy can be harmful. Talk to your family about the effects of nuclear energy. The more you know, the better. This story brought to you by Vault Tech.